go ahead and do the 11.2 tier list update. Zarya's been out for almost a week. And we're going to place her A tier. I don't want to put her in S tier, but she might belong there. Just from my experience playing her, her lane phase is way stronger than people think because you can pretty much get free poke off to the opponent. Like you know with Ezreal, how you get into the side of the wave and Q where the target needs to like stand to hit the CS, you can do that with Zeri on every single CS always. And then you can just E away if you need to, right? Like either over the wall or even just short dash just to get that extra distance and get back to your tower. But long story short, your lane's not as bad as people think. So yeah, she definitely belongs A tier, maybe S tier. I think her ult's a little janky. I wish that they would either make it ramp up faster and fall off faster or ramp up slower and last longer so then you could just use it at the very start of a fight without worrying about it or hold it till the middle of a fight but as its current state it feels kind of in the middle where it takes like a long amount of time to ramp up like you're relying on the enemy to not just walk away for six seconds and then come back in because it takes, like I guess it's in a balanced state, but it, it does feel a bit janky. So anyway, that's my, my reason for putting Zeri A. People are going to think that she belongs lower most likely because everyone's been saying that she's bad, but you don't just listen to what other people say. You look at the stats. I mean, the stats don't lie. Her win rate's steadily been going up, and I don't think it's going to stop at... 49. I think it's going to keep going up as people start learning here more and more and how to trade. I think it's safe to say, look, Diamond's already picking up the ban rate because they know that the champion's strong. But I think it's safe to say that people are going to be doing these bruiser builds, not crit builds. Like personally, I was doing Essence Reaver Rush, but Triforce is definitely better. It's the same thing, you're just abusing the sheen on both items, but Triforce leads you into more build paths than Essence Reaver does. Because Essence Reaver forces you to build into crit items, and then all the crit items aren't as good. But yeah, you can go like Triforce plus any of these on-hit items. Any combination looks good. So yeah, this isn't a Zeri video, this is a tier list video. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and make our next giant change, and you're going to lose your mind, but... Whoa! So I definitely misplaced Senna putting her in B tier. She's way better. Like we don't even need to go over her stats. Basically, she was underrated. She got a buff that she didn't need. And now she's kind of OP. She has no bad matchups. You can say Ash, I think. No look, not even Ash anymore. Yeah, she wins versus everything. She synergizes with everything. Champions overall. The best bot laner at the moment as either AD or support. Oh yeah, she does lose versus Ash's ADC. That's what it is. See? But I don't think it's correct. But I mean, the stats don't always lie. But I've played a lot of Ash last season, and Ash versus Senna isn't a great matchup because what kind of happens is if the Senna is good, she builds Boots of Swiftness, so you can't slow her. Boots of Swiftness counter Ash. That's why Jin's pretty good against Ash too. But also, if you ult her, she'll press B before the ult lands, and then you can't target her with anything. So then you're just running at her and you need to run in the melee range, which you don't want to do as Ash. So it's like, I don't know, it's not a great matchup. I'm not sure why the win rate's so uh, so unbalanced at the moment for that matchup. But yeah, long story short, Senna's great. OP Chen. Wins with everything, and then these lethal tempo buffs, like they were actually buffs. These the changes to lethal tempo were actually just buffs for for range champions, I should say. Because for melee champions, they might not have been. I haven't played any melee champions, I don't know. But I mean, Yasuo, oh yeah, Yasuo also got a small buff too. But all of their win rates are a little inflated because they were playing against Zeri. Zeri was losing to everything. 
pretty much still is technically, but I don't think she will be for too much longer. Look at her early game win rate. Anyway. Yeah, so Lethal Temple Champs, I think... How am I going to do this? I think... I think Ash drops it here. Just because Senna is better utility than Ash overall. I think Jin... Might actually fall behind these champs. But in low elo, Jin is better because you pair him with mages. But it starts to fall off as mage supports start to fall off. I think he's better in the main though. Arthas can drop a tier with these other mages. Vigar is coming up to the S tier. I mean, I still haven't seen a brand bot. This is just like a. We'll just put. We'll take brand out. Once again, I think you can play him, but I, I haven't seen it. Not even. I haven't seen a Swain either, but I know people actually play Swain. Like I've seen it on streams and stuff. Um, with that being said, what else would I change? I think Samira gets bumped up to B. Let's check the stats. I think Samira's only good with engaged supports. Jin sucks solo queue, I'm sorry, unless you have a good frontline comp. Well, that's every AD carry needs a good frontline comp, but Jin is needs less than the other AD carries. Because with Jin, you just stay so far away and just press W and R. It's a utility pick. Like, basically, when you look at this tier list, it's not about, like, oh, Jin's OP because I can 1v9, Senna's OP because I can 1v9. Like, these champs don't do the most damage. If I was making a damage tier list, then Ezreal and Cog would be at the top. And Ziggs, like, champs that can do a lot. Like, you can even sort by damage, right? But the reason why... Oh, it's not this website. Wait, what website do you sort by damage? Must be the League of Graphs. But the reason why they're up there is because they're a champ that can just like help the team. You're you don't you're not the carry, you're, you're just helping the team. And Senna obviously has healing, she has a team invisibility, she has a teammate shield with her ult, like her whole kit's utility. And now she has a slow on her Q. Dude, where is uh why aren't the champions showing up? Ah, here we go. And it also doesn't have damage. Hmm. I wonder what website I used to use for that. There used to be a website that would show you um, average damage per game. Hmm. Anyway, it's not that important. Just trying to make a point. But yeah, I mean. Long story short, I think the meta is definitely towards uh, these utility picks, and on Jin, you can see their high elo carry potential. But then, yeah, you can also just pick like a hyper carry with lethal tempo and out of scale. But anyway, I would put Jin above Vayne, I think. I'm most likely going to drop this Twitch, which dropped a lot. But I think the one thing with Twitch is you need to pair him with a good support synergy. Like he synergizes with Rakan really well. Even though it's not here. That's are too low, too fresh. 1000 games, 53% win rate. It was way higher. They were like 57 together. And Nami is good with him. Janna, new Janna, Lulu. Sana, cause Sana is winning with everything. But yeah, I still think he's gonna get dropped. Probably into the bottom of B tier. Oh yeah, we're supposed to look at Samira's stats. Samira goes well with Leona. But yeah, like Jin is just one of those champions that you can pair him with much more things than just a good frontline and he's useful. But something like a, let's say a Kog'Maw or a Twitch or Misfortune, like all of these champions rely on having another champion paired with them in order to do anything. Like yeah, sure, Jin is a lot better when you have a good team comp, but every champion is better with a good team comp. Samira, yeah, so Samira with these engaged champs, only 52 though, not as high as I thought. I thought she'd be around like 55, I guess the buff wasn't that big. Still loses to lethal tempo. Maybe we'll bring her here for now. 
Let me check one more thing. I'll still look at duos. Maybe she has a good duo. Well, I did just look at her duos if they engages. But yeah, basically you can think of the website this way too. Like you have um, a champion's win rate, which is, it can be inflated like cogs here. It could be, you know, like maybe Zeri's is inflated because people are playing her on Smurfs a lot. But this is normally where you'll get the best information. I mean, once again, it can be inflated, but overall through a whole season, this is where you'll get the best information. Because it's people that played, like out of these 4,600 games, it's only, I think 50 different people is what they take in. Maybe 100 people. So it's like, out of all of these people, let's say 100 people, each of them played 46 games. They were able to win, what, 24 of them or something would be 60%? No, higher than that, maybe like 28. But anyway. Like this is normally a good indicator of how much somebody can carry on a champ. So yeah, Senna, Jin. And then normally it means that they're playing this unconditionally. They're playing it with anything, right? Because they're one tricking the champ. So this guy played Senna, or not this guy, but these people. Three, these 3,000 games played were with, you know, Senna mages, Senna tanks, Senna duos, Senna's everything. Same thing with Jin. But like, if you come down here to the bottom, it's like, oh, if you pair virus with anything, there's a 50% chance that you win. There's no real way around it. No matter how much you you excel at this champion, this is pretty much your your ceiling right here. And that's the big reason that these champions are going to be staying pretty low in the tier list. Virus and I, at least our cog. Like I'd probably bump cog up to here. See about Tristana too. Tristana got a health buff. Might have helped her. So Ash is a utility pick. We already dropped her. Wherever she is. And let's see how she compares to Kaiza. Kaiza seems to be doing a lot better now. 51. Fogs with Kaiza too. I don't think I'm gonna raise Cog. Uh, these kind of boats suck too. What about Ezreal and Caitlyn? Let's check them. Check out some Diamond 2 stats. I mean, this is pretty small sample size, but I can still check it out. Go white pick rate. Is still doing slightly worse. Asana is doing better. Yeah, where's Viger at? Yeah, we already pulled him up. Definitely deserves it. Viger is one of the best mages at the moment. Him and Ziggs. I think Viger is like your short range, I'm gonna one shot people, and Ziggs is like your long range, I'm gonna slowly chip you out. Different play styles, but both very strong. And Trista seems okay. Probably better in the low yellow, right? Not really. Strong early game, though. Falls off pretty hard. I'm assuming because she's using Hail of Blades, yeah. But you can go Hail of Blades and look for early game aggression with this champ. The extra health means that you can now all in even earlier. But she definitely is so scaled by all the uh, all the lethal tempo champs, so if you're gonna pick her, your goal has to be pushing down towers with your E and ending the game. Wouldn't recommend it, but she's definitely a little bit better. Maybe up to here. Mm, would I put her above Caitlyn? Probably not. I think right there is where she's gonna go. As I can go above Ash, I think. I think Ash lost a lot of uh, priority because of this Senna buff. 
Like basically there's never a reason to pick Ash over Senna. Like Ash brings utility, but not nearly enough compared to what Senna brings. Senna has a root, a stun. She slows every auto just like Ash. Or not a stun, sorry, she has a shield, a heal, and a even stronger slow with her Q. Like long story short, I think Ash just kinda killed her stun I kinda killed Ash right now. I'm dropping her even lower. The more I think about it. Poor Ash thrown into the gutter by Senna. Ash is kinda Jin like, yeah. But like the thing is, even Jin is way better than Ash. It, he, his ult, when you think about it, it doesn't stun, but it slows for like, I don't know, 1.5 seconds or something. So potentially six seconds of 99% slow or 90% or 85% or whatever it is. Like once again, just more utility than Ash. And well, maybe not more utility. I would say equal utility to Ash, but more damage. That's why Jin has always been a little bit stronger than Ash on these tier lists. Also, with that being said, Ash does more um, on hit damage, more sustain, stay in the fight forever damage. Whereas Jin is more like an AD assassin in a way. Because you're just kind of looking to Gale for his forward shot, somebody that's low. Either way, Jin does better at the moment. What about these mages? What do I think about these mages? Hmm. See, it's hard to really judge these mages because the pick rates are just so low, man, and I don't really understand why. Like, it's so sad. Their win rates have been busted for years. Years. Do you know how many games are lost because a team drafts full AD? And then you also pick an AD carry in the bot lane? And you can be picking these broken champs. Hmm. Where's Draven at? Draven might come down to tier two. Like in high elo, it's just one tricks that are spamming him because I'm pretty sure everyone else considers him pretty weak at the moment. Like even the one tricks I've played, I don't sweat. Like normally when you're against a Draven, you're sweaty. You're like, oh man, if I fuck up one thing, this game's gonna get out of control really quick. But like, at the moment, you're kind of like, oh, a Draven, guess it's a free win. Like the champ feels kind of trash. I'm gonna drop him. Drop him down with Kaiza. He's about the same power level as Kaiza at the moment. Like they're not complete garbage, but they're not uh, they're not SRA tier quality for both Draven and Kaiza. Twitch above these mages because we don't see them enough to really have a grasp on their power. And then Seraphine is underrated as hell, but she has one big disclaimer to her. You have to pick her with a not a duo, but with a synergy. If you pick her with a synergy, like a Sona, you can see here Sona 58%, Sona 58% is instantly the best mage, like better than Ziggs, better than Vagar. But if you pick her without this energy pick, then she's worse than both of them. Probably worse than every mage if you pick her in that situation, to be fair. But if you're picking her with the Senna and the Sona, they're really busted lanes at the moment. Like really busted Soraka too. Karma. Like any of this uh, utility, not even, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna keep using the word utility, but shielding, let's just straight up call it shielding lanes. Shielding healing lanes. If you're playing a Seraphine double healing, shielding healing lane, and your jungler is a master Yi, it's GG. Just enemy team's gonna open. Like, they already have a hard time killing Yi. Let's give them two supports, guys. Good luck. Like, the game's over. But I wouldn't pick her with, a, like, a Lulu for a perfect example. Like, a Lulu Seraphine, just open. You're useless. Like, it's, it's really about the, the synergy with Seraphine. Like, I probably wouldn't even pick her with Lux. If the Lux was doing a W max with uh, support item, Moonstone, maybe. 
But yeah, I would just stick to picking Seraphine. If your support ever picks Senna, which is going to be pretty common because she's broken, I would definitely consider picking uh, Seraphine to go with Senna. Even if you've never played her, or like only played her as support, never played her as AD carry. Like Senna can even take a couple CS, it doesn't matter. As long as Senna is not like taking all your wave. If she's just taking like one a wave or whatever. Because you don't really want to scale up into six items as Seraphine. You're basically picking Seraphine AD carry as a way of saying like, okay, I acknowledge that I'm the support of this team. Like you can see Senna's highest win rate, they're 58 together. But you, you're basically just acknowledging the fact that you're like, okay, my team needs some AP damage, but it would also be nice if we had more CC. Boom, Seraphine. Like, is honestly probably the best lane at the moment overall, period. Like, you can even see Senna, Jana, Senna, Tom, Kench are only at 56. 56, yeah. I would, I would argue that Senna, Seraphine is the best bot lane in the game full stop hard stop mm, like period let's go on to the next topic uh which will be maybe ziggs does ziggs need a need a drop i don't think so i think ziggs is gonna stay s tier forever just because overall well-rounded he is just the mage you can just blind pick him first pick doesn't matter so he's gonna stay there Kind of the same reason Jin will probably stay S tier forever, unless they nerf his damage. And so Zeri's A, Twitch is A, three mages. Like you could even arguably switch Ash and Caitlyn, because Caitlyn just does what Ash does even better too. And she has traps and can clear the wave faster than Ash. Do that. Yeah, I think Ash actually got killed by the Senna buff. I would say this looks pretty good. And then yeah, you can arguably swap these two, but the like, Caitlyn is just all about winning early. And then you need to have really good macro senses as an AD carry, like Caitlyn. Because if you don't close out the game through macro, you just kind of lose. Which means like you gotta rotate mid, take the mid tower, rotate top, take top tower, rotate back for dragging, run up, catch up, rift herald, run back bot, hit the bot tier two tower. Rotate back to Baron, take the Baron, rotate back to mid, set up traps, take the tier 2 mid. Like, if you ever miss a beat, you fall behind, lose tempo, lose the game. Like, it's actually that. Like, that's what people don't understand about Caitlyn. Like, sure, you can pick her and just shove waves and win your lane, but are you really winning your lane in that case? I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is my patch 12.2 tier list. As you can see, there's a shitload of mages in the top S and A. You can probably remove new now also. Go ahead and put it in the Discord. Still in the Twitch chat, Mano, but that's uh, that's three items like Triforce, Hurricane, Tiamat. So, like, a good way to look up a character's power that you might like is you can do this, and let's say you want to look at let's say you want to look at Vayne, Senna, and Vigar. I just like kind of preload the pages because my drinks a little buggy if I don't all these ads so you can look up their two item so 58 58 58 60 and you can see 60 right away so Vigar is standing out once you can finish death cap on Vigar giga spike you don't see too many champions hit 60% win rate with two items 
I forgot to say that about Santa 2 in the video crap. But basically, I guess we can just make the video end after this. So basically with Senna guys, if you are going to pick her as AD carry, you need to get to your Eclipse. Like look, her win rate's actually garbage in lane phase. 15% or 44% in the first 15 minutes. Your whole goal is to get to this Eclipse. Like don't start tier. I keep saying this, don't start tier. You'll instantly have a 1% higher chance to lose if you start tier. Is there anything else? Um, and just like... Get an early back, get a tier, sure, but get to your Eclipse as fast as possible. Or even just get the Man Immune, like Man Immune 57%, but the goal is to finish an item as fast as you can. Because before an item, the champion is kind of bad. And then like, you know, if you want to play Vigar, your goal is to get to your Death Cap as fast as possible while farming stacks. But then something like Vayne, you kind of just spike on one item, really. You can probably even just win without an item. Yeah, so she's pretty strong even without an item. Kind of falls off at two items compared to other champs. So anyway, that's my 12.2 tier list video. I'm going to put that all up on YouTube later. Uh, make sure to, you know, like, subscribe, check out the Discord. I'm going to update the Discord builds. Mm, I don't want to say today. Definitely not today. Maybe tomorrow on stream, that's what I'll do. So yeah, let me check it out, check out the Discord. I'll catch you guys next time.